Hey guys, it's Alan Gage, and we're going to do a drag today. So the first part you really want to get to with your puppy dog, if you're just getting a new coon hound, you want to get a skin or a tail of a coon, just kind of play with it. I waited the first like week, week and a half of getting both Diesel and Dixie before I started doing like real training. I just play with them, get them real excited with the coon tail, and I'd put it away before they got they got bored with it. I'd put it up in trees, put it places where they have a hard time getting to it, make them bark, make them really, really want it, and then give it to them, give them a lot of pets and loving. So we're to the next step right now. Dixie's about four and a half months old. We showed her the live cage coon about a month ago. She seemed a little skittish of it, kind of scared of it. So we're still doing the drags at the moment to kind of get her confidence up. Here we have a coon from our last video, the Valentine Day coon, this is one of those. And we just tied a string around its leg and we're gonna just drag it around. I'm just, I'm probably pulling on one of these posts out here. We're gonna go around the back of the house and we'll do the, we'll take Dixie around the front so she has to decide which way the coon ran. And so yeah, so you just drag the coon literally behind you if you're worried about her, if your dog is tracking you or the coon, what I did sometimes I'd drag it on the four wheeler, sometimes I'd dra drag it behind the truck just just to change it up. But today we're taking myself because the field's pretty wet. We took her the last three nights and she actually treed both nights. So we're gonna try her one more time. You start out with small increments and you just keep working your way up. Um, if you don't have a dog to run your dog with, like I did myself, I, I actually just, this is, this is the way to do it, honestly. If you don't have other dogs to run it with, this is the way you gotta go to get yourself a good training dog. I'm not a professional, by no means am I saying that I know what I'm doing, I'm just saying that this has worked for me with both dogs, that I have zero coon dog experience. I've done a lot of research and this is what it shows. I had Diesel treeing his first tr coon out in, the, out in the woods at six months old. So you can either take my advice or leave it. Okay, I got it dragged to the back of the barn here. We're gonna go down this drip by Arts and we're gonna drag it around, put the coon up the tree, see how Dixie can find it. We're gonna just, like I said, just work your way up. This is probably, I don't know, like a 100, 150 yard drag. And just slowly work your dog up. The more you do it, obviously the better the dog's gonna be. People don't have time with their dog, just try and get out when you can work. And I don't know, it just work, school, all year. There's, people got stuff going on. You don't have to do it every day. I'm just saying that the more you do it, obviously the better your dog you're gonna get. And like I said, diesel tree to six months. This is what I did. The next step after this is to have a live coon. Show your dog a live coon, open the cage and let it tree a coon that way. But if your dog's scared of live coons, like Dixie's a little a little timid of them, this is the way you gotta go and obviously this is how it works. So she's, we're gonna try and get her, I just ordered a tracker collar. So we'll try and get her out on some live ones out in the woods pretty soon. And we'll see if she can tree a wild one. But for now, we're doing some drags. Let's get it. Now another thing I forgot to mention with your drags is when you first get your dog and it's still learning to trail coon, you're going to want to leave the skin on the ground or the dead coon or whatever just so the dog can find it. You want to just praise it as much and then once the dog gets better and stuff you can start putting up a tree and what you can do you can tie the dog to the bottom of the tree and it'll, it'll stay right there so get those dogs staying on the tree. Okay, we went and got Dixie. She's a four and a half month old blue tick. Uh, she's got Smoky River on the 
on her dad's side and rainbow on her mom's side. Um, same thing that Diesel has. And breeding does matter, but I feel like it's more training than breeding, but it obviously helps to have a, a well-bred dog behind the, behind the, <laughs> in the background. But yeah, so we're, we're gonna bring her out and we're just gonna kinda walk with her. We're gonna take her off the leash, of course, so she can tree it on her own. We're just kinda walk with her. If she gets too off course, we can obviously help her out. And we'll see if she can tree this coon. I'll let her off where I left off the camera. We're almost there. The coon's way down in one of those willow trees down in the swamp. She's pulling at the leash. She doesn't really like to walk very well. All right, Dixie. Dixie dog, come on. All right. So like I said, we're just gonna let her off the leash once we get up here. And, because she doesn't really like to follow Diesel too well. She usually, trail's pretty silent, so that just comes with, the more that they they work a coon trail, they'll, they'll start to vocalize, but she's actually vocalizing quite a bit right now. All right, so she's obviously smelling it. Right here's where we left the camera. Dexy, hey, hey, you ready? You ready, girl? Oh, shoot. I almost took off with the leash. Dexy, hold on, girl, hold on. She wants that coon bad, Dixie. Hold on, girl, hold on. Good girl. Hey, 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 hey. Where is he? Where is he? Go get it. All right. Work it out. We didn't cross the fence, but the wind's blowing that way, so. She's probably getting, get, catching wind of it, obviously. She's running down the trail. <laughs> See if she can figure it out. Dixie, come on! There she goes. She's back on the right side of the fence. She's got her nose to the ground. Tail's wagging. I did a little little weave right here, so that's what threw her off, but she's back on it. Like I said, you want to help as little as possible. But as you can tell, the more the dog does on her own, the better. But if she gets too far off, we'll obviously help her out. And just, as you can tell, she's staying right to the trail. She's actually getting way ahead of me. Right there's where I turned, and there she's turned. She's still on it. We better catch up before she trees it without me. Like I said, just work on your drags, work on this all kind of parts of it. If you, if you need any help or any questions, feel free to contact me. Comment below. Let me know. Let me know how your puppy dog's doing, how your little coon hound's doing. Actually, she's almost to the tree right now. I put it right up in that sideways tree. Let's see if she can tree it. Come on, girl. She's. Look at that, guys. See, she's going to wander a little bit, but she knows it's up there. Right there's the coon up in those crotches. She's treed. And that's how you do it, folks. There's a nice stance. That's what you want to see, guys. Four and a half month old blue tick. 150 yard drag. We better walk over there and check things out. But that's what I like to see, folks. It's starting to rain here, folks. Good girl. Good girl. There's the coon. Down. There's the blue tick. I don't want to get the camera all wet, so we'll leave it off here. Like, subscribe. I'll be making some more videos. Good luck in the woods, folks.